Welcome back to my channel. In this Christmas stockings tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make these animal paw stockings that add the perfect festive vibe to your home decor. If you decide to download the pattern, it comes with four different sizes and the sizes will appear right up here on the screen. Here's the small size and for this one I use the printed cotton, some flannel up here and for the paw prints, just regular crafting felt. This is the medium size and I've used a Sherpa fleece and a regular polar fleece here for the paw prints and the top is the same fleece and the loop here is just regular cotton fabric. Then for the large paw, here is again some polar fleece, a nice vintage stretch knit and again that polar fleece right there. And these are the measurements of the completed extra large stocking. So if you'd like the pattern, go ahead and click the link in the description of this video and let's start making. When you download the patterns, you get four sizes. Here's the small. This is the medium size, which you'll tape together just like this, one through four, right side by side. Here is the large pattern, six pages, which you'll tape together just like this. And of course, the extra large size with 11 pages, which you'll tape together just like this. And actually page nine doesn't even need to be taped to it. Here are my pattern pieces printed and cut out and taped together. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna be making the medium stocking size, but any size you make, the steps are exactly the same. I mentioned these fabrics before, and if you'd like, I also leave a link for them in the description. So I need two of these. So what I'm gonna do is fold the fabrics right sides together, and I'm gonna use pattern weights, and I will cut this out. You can cut it out however you'd like. You can pin yours together, whatever is easier for you. Next, I'm going to cut out the top of the stocking out of my fleece. And my paw prints come out of that same fleece. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe so you can be up to date with all of my latest tutorials. Once this is all pinned together, what I'm gonna do is go over to my sewing machine and sew very close to the edge of all of these paw prints. And what I really like about the fleece is that you really don't see the stitching after. Of course, you can hand sew it as well. I'm gonna clip these two pieces right sides together. And I love using my clips with my Sherpa fleece. And then I'm gonna sew all the way around a quarter of an inch seam allowance, back stitching on the ends. And here we go, the funnest part of all. We're gonna give it a little clip in between the toes here so it turns well, and here we go. This adorable paw, coming to life. To create the loop, I am pressing a hem 
on each side of this rectangle fabric and then we are going to sew it in place. To create the top of the stocking, I folded it wrong sides together and then I fold it in half again. So this is the right sides of the fabric looking at me and I'm sticking the loop of the stocking right in there. I put it a little bit on an angle and now I'm going to sew this end closed so that your loop sticks out. Turning it right sides out again, I'm going to slip it right over the stocking so the edges meet here. I'm going to clip it in place first, meeting together the seams, and then I'm going to sew all the way around, attaching and really finishing the stocking. And that's it, they're done. How easy was that? So if you really enjoy making things for your pets, why don't you also check out my other tutorials right up here on the screen. Thank you so much for watching.